Hello class and welcome to our 11th lecture of International Finance and I am your instructor Jamal. And we are following International Financial Management 11th edition by author Jeff Medora. So during this lecture we will covering some parts of chapter 7 from your book and some parts of chapter 8 from your book. From chapter 7 we will try to explain the concept of interest rate parity and from chapter 8 we try to explain the purchasing power parity we also call this PPP. We try to explain international Fisher effect and then we compare these parities with purchasing power parity with international Fisher effect and with interest rate parity. So let's start with so we already know that from our previous discussions that premium or discounts on forward rates how we can calculate that? We can calculate the premium on discount the forward is equal to 1 plus premium and if we rearrange this equation we'll get that forward minus spot divided by spot is equal to premium. So we have a short example here that if the euro spot rate is 1.4 dollar and one year forward rate is on a premium of 2 percent then forward will be just use this equation you will find out that spot rate is 1.40 into 1 plus 0 0.02 and when, when we solve this equation you will get that 1.428 is the forward. So let's explain the interest rate parity. So interest rate parity said that in equilibrium forward rates differ from the spot rate by a sufficient amount to offset the interest rate differential between two countries. So it means the IRP means interest rate parity it suggests that that the forward premium or discount is basically is the differential between home currency interest rate and foreign currency interest rate or to put or to put in an other words is that that forward rate premium or discount is basically the difference between your home country interest rate and foreign country interest rate. So formula is 1 plus interest rate in your home country and interest rate foreign country. minus 1. So here IH it represents the interest rate in home country and IF represents interest rate in foreign country. And then international official effect. So recall from our chapter 4 that high interest rates can attract a strong demand for local currency. Why? Because if a country increases its interest rate, it will receive more foreign currency because its currency will appreciate because foreign currency or foreigners, they will sell their home currency, their foreign currency and convert their currency into the currency of that country where interest rates are high, they deposit their currency into there and receive higher interest rates. So, however, this international 
फिशर इफेक्ट थ्योरी इट सजेस्ट अ काउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट इट से दैट हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट्स इफेक्ट द एक्सचेंज रेट एंड दैट वेयर देयर वेयर देयर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स आर हायर देयर करेंसी शुड डेप्रिशिएट एंड पीपल मे नॉट गेट हायर इंटरेस्ट बेनिफिट सो लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दिस फर्दर सो फिशर इफेक्ट्स it says that the interest rate of a country has two parts one is real interest rate and inflation means interest rate is equal to real interest rate plus inflation and the real rate of interest rate represents the return on the investor to save after accounting for expected inflation means if you just rearrange this the real inflation sorry real interest rate or real rate is equal to nominal interest rate minus inflation and regarding the comparison between interest rate parity purchasing power parity and international fisher effect is that the international fisher effect basically and the purchasing power parity they focus on currency spot rate movement how the currency spot rate will move over time while the interest rate parity it focus on forward rate premium is equal to forward minus spot divided by spot so interest rate parity it suggests that that the premium on forward rate whether the forward rate increase or decrease is depend on interest rate between home, home countries and interest rate between foreign countries where the purchasing power parity and and international fisher effect they focus on currencies expected spot rate over time third one is whereas purchasing power parity suggests that spot rate will change in accordance with inflation the international fisher effect suggests that it will change with interest rate differential the ppp is related to international fisher effect because expected inflation the difference between expected inflation it influences the nominal interest rate between two countries so if nominal interest rate is high it means that country expected inflation is high and according to ppp if inflation is high it means country exchange rate will depreciate in future so this is the end of our today's chapter's objective so summary is that that the purchasing power parity specifies a precise relationship between inflation of the two countries and their exchange rate means high inflation currency will depreciate where the ppp theory suggest that equilibrium exchange rate will adjust by the same magnitude at the differential in inflation rate though the ppp continues to be a valuable concept there is evidence of a sizable deviation from theory in the real world why because interest rate and inflations they are not going side by side the class is over see you next time bye bye